Okay, so, um, this is a painting called I Am, and it's one that I've done um, a couple times before. But a woman saw it online, uh, a collector saw it online, and said, do you still have I Am? The original I Am was destroyed in a painting mishap. The, um, the second one was never finished. I was never particularly happy with her. But I've done her in silkscreen form too, which I've been very happy with. And I wanted the opportunity to paint her again. And so this woman in Virginia, who's, you know, collecting my work, asked if I would uh, develop another I Am for her. So we've got this one up and running. And I'm really happy with her. She's very different than the other versions that I've done. Uh, but I still, I really like her. I'm very, very, very comfortable with the way she feels. Behind her is Spalding Gray. And I'm not pulling him out. He's still kind of yellow. But I've, over the weekend, I added more colors to his faces. In a video, I think the last one I made, he was very yellow. He was yellowy yellow and I don't even like yellow all that much but I did this thing that I do where I paint myself in a corner and I have to work my way out and I'm working my way out I'm not showing you how however but he does have blues and teals and oranges and greens and things added uh, not only to his face but to his hands um, I've changed the shape of his torso. I spent my weekend being fairly productive, working on several different paintings in, in, at once, including Christopher Hitchens, who I'm, I'm finishing up, hopefully, and then it's going to North Carolina to his new home. Hi, Christopher. I'm looking at him right now. Hi, Christopher. You're going to move to North Carolina soon. Try not to get too excited. He's thrilled, I'm thrilled, and the people that bought it are thrilled too. I'm really, I'm very proud. You know, I never know when I paint some of my more obscure figures or portraits who's gonna, who's gonna appreciate them, but there are people out there just like me, and that is odd. But, um, I wanted to talk about something today that is embarrassing and uncomfortable but it's there. I think that's been a theme on a number of videos lately. Uh, but over the past few years, I've had a lot of stuff happen. And um, it's really eaten away at me. Um, uh, where I lay awake at night questioning everything that I do, questioning every decision I've made. Uh, I've heard every opinion on everything I do, on every show, on every piece on uh, things I have to do to get through the day, um, different jobs, and um, they're not always nice. Uh, I tend to have a very nice little community here on YouTube and on Facebook, but there are people, and Instagram and all the other places, but there, there are people who are particularly nasty, and I don't always let it get to me. But when it happens day after 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 day with people who are right here who are physically near me, it wears me down. And it's really worn me down over the past three or four years. As I've said before in other videos, I was brought up in a violent alcoholic and rageaholic home. We were never left to feel comfortable. We're never allowed to feel comfortable. The second you relaxed, you were a punching bag or you were prey. And unfortunately, that's a theme that's carried throughout my life. And over the past uh, three or four years, I've gotten really tired of it. And, sorry Bugs, Bugsy's waiting to go for a walk. We'll get there in a sec. Um, I've gotten tired of it. And I've, um, I mean, I've been through therapy in the past. I've been to... Um, Al-Anon and AA so that I'm not drinking and I'm not smoking and I'm not doing drugs, wink wink, and um, but I'm just worn out. And I'm not a person who has a big social life. I don't go out to dinner, I don't go over people's houses to go to dinner, I don't go to parties, I don't do anything like that. In my downtime, all I want to do is produce work. I just want to paint and walk Bugsy, who is now rubbing himself on the floor in the most adorable way and sneezing. 
So I don't have a big circle of friends. I don't have people I can call up and say, can I just see your face for a little while and then I will feel better. I will feel like I'm part of the world. I don't have that. I really don't. I have friends and I have a couple people that I text when I start to get really frustrated and down with things that are going on. Um, but I don't have that, I don't have that kind of thing that other people do because I don't want it, number one. And number two, it's awkward and, and it seems to always end in a really horrible way. So when I say I'm a loner, I mean I'm a loner. I don't mean like some people mean I'm a loner, but I'm having a dinner party for 12 people tonight. Or I'm a loner. I'm having barbecue and half the neighborhood is invited over and everyone will come because they all love me. I mean I'm a loner because things go horribly wrong in my life. And there we are. I like my quiet. I like Bugsy. I almost like the cat when he's not pooping in the bathtub or farting at me. But I love Bugsy. And I love being alone with him and with my figures and my paint. It's the outside world that after a while of hammering at me gets me down. And after a while, I mean like years. So, um, you know, after 30 something years of trying to deal with a family who just at each other, prey upon each other, I called it quits and I started going to a therapist and um, I was di diagnosed with PTSD uh, for a variety of, of very bizarre reasons with PTSD um, and I went on medication uh, to save me from the anxiety and depression but I did all the work, the Alan on the AA, the therapy, blah blah blah. And then I stopped and I had to stop taking uh, antidepressants because I was feeling better and my insurance company decided you can survive without them since you might be even thinking about feeling better now. So, here I am, if that makes any sense. That was several years ago, here we are now. I've been through the ringer again. I put myself, like, out, not, when I say out in the world, I mean like flying naked in the world, hoping people don't throw things at me. And, um, <laughs> things have gone well in some areas and things have gone horribly wrong in others. Just dreadfully, nightmarishly, horribly wrong. I'm proud of myself because I'm very brave and did this on my own. Most of the time did this, all this wacky, crazy, I'm going to have a solo show in New York kind of stuff. And then I'm sad because, you know, I had to sell my truck and my furniture and blah, 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 because things didn't go as well as expected. And now I'm in a position where, um, I don't, where I'm not painting full time. And in the time that I'm not painting, I'm dealing with, I'm dealing in a world, um, that can be less than kind. So, I'm worn out. I'm, I've been finding myself on my days off for the past three or four years trying really, really hard to hide it. Hide the fact that I'm down and make these videos and try and give people, you know, hope that they can do this. It's, I've been trying to inspire. No, I hate that. I've been trying. I've been making these videos hoping they help people in some way. I have been painting, but at the same time, you know, every day that goes by and I am called an effing idiot or an effing whatever, or I've had something thrown at me or, you know, the you know, endless stupid insulting ways that I've been debased and humiliated, um, I get down and I walk around my apartment going, what did I do? 
So after three or four years of what did I do, what have I done, and why, you know, uh, wait, uh, I find myself in a place where I'm working with a great gallery again, but I'm having a hard time moving, you know, getting out of that pit of sorrow and anxiety and depression on my, on my time so that I can make the most of it. So I finally, and this is where it's very embarrassing, but I'm saying this so I might be able to help other people who are in the same spot or kind of the same spot or just stuck, stuck the way I have been, just totally mired in negative, negative, negative filth. So I went to a therapist, or I called it, I went to a doctor's office. I went to a doctor, and I said, Doctor, I am sad all the time. And I spend most of my downtime, my time, crying and filled with anxiety and trying really hard to accomplish anything. And we talked about it for about an hour, and um, I've been put on an antidepressant again, thank God. And for the first time, for the first time in probably four years, um, I spent the weekend being pretty damn productive. I mean, I've been productive, but not quite to this level where it's not forced, it's of ease. I'm painting, the colors are coming to me. The uh, solutions to my puzzles and my paintings is coming to me. So I've been painting in a way that makes me f paintery. I, I don't know, but I also cleaned my apartment, which I haven't done in about a year. I washed the windows. I've never done that before. I washed the floors. I have kind of done that once in a while. I cleaned my bathroom. Hello. I cleaned the inside of the fridge, the top of the fridge, the outside of the fridge, and I pulled the fridge out and washed underneath it. And I am king of the world and successful. And I'm telling you, because if you're in that spot, this is a reminder. This is just a reminder to say, I need a little Band-Aid here because I'm not sure, not sure how much longer I can pretend that I'm okay. Like I said, I don't really have you know, I don't socialize, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, I don't smoke weed. So I'm not like the life of the party. I'm not the center of any big clique or group. I don't go to openings. I don't do the stuff that other people do. I just want to paint. So it's a very solitary life. And you take a solitary loner and put them out in situations like I'm kind of been in for the past three or four years where I'm, you know, it's just battering, constant battering at you and, and, and you wear down. I wore down anyway. So now I've got a little bit of a band-aid and we've got a game plan of stuff we're going to do. I've also had horrible chest pains for the past few months and I thought I was having a heart attack and it turns out, no, the pain I've been feeling is right there, and it's muscle and nerve pain due to stress. And that's gone now. So, if you find yourself in the same position as Becky, call your doctor today. Ting! I don't know why. I just felt compelled to share that with um, whoever watches these. And I hope you're able to reach out for some help. I'm also thinking about going to an Al-Anon meeting for the first time in about nine months. Um, I'm thinking about it because I won't just sit there and cry. I'll actually be able to take in what's being said and um, help to move myself even further up this ladder to the sky that I'm on or, you know, whatever I'm doing. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. i got to walk the bugs first and... He's looking out the window. Oh my god, I love him. He's looking out the window going, please, mommy, please, I have to go to pee-pees. To pee.
Peace, Mommy. All right, bugs, I'm taking you. We're going to go. Ciao.